अर्जुन उवाच जायसी चेकर्मणस्ते मता बुद्धिर्जनार्दना तत्किम कर्मणि घोरे माम नियो जयसी केशव व्यामिश्रे नेव वाक्येन बुद्धिम मोहयसीव में तदे कम्वद निश्चित्य येन श्रेयो हम आपनु याँ अर्जुन सेड, ओ जनार्दन, इफ यू कंसिडर नॉलेज सुपीरियर टू एक्शन then why do you ask me to wage this terrible war? My intellect is bewildered by your ambiguous advice. Please tell me decisively the one path by which I may attain the highest good. Shri Bhagavan Uvata Loke Svindvi Vidha Nishtha Pura Prokta Maya Nagha Jnana Yoge Na Sankhya Naam Karma Yoge Na Yogi Naam the Bhagavan said, O sinless one, the two paths leading to enlightenment were previously explained by me, the path of knowledge, for those inclined toward contemplation, and the path of work for those inclined toward action. One cannot achieve freedom from karmic reactions by merely abstaining from work, nor can one attain perfection of knowledge by mere physical renunciation. There is no one who can remain without action even for a moment. Indeed, all beings are compelled to act by their qualities born of material nature. Those who restrain the external organs of action, while continuing to dwell on sense objects in the mind, certainly delude themselves and are to be called hypocrites. But those Karm Yogis who control their knowledge senses with the mind, O Arjuna, and engage the working senses in working without attachment, are certainly superior. Niyatam Kuru Karmatvam Karma Jayohya Karmanaha Sharira Yatra Pichate Na Prasidhyeda Karmanaha You should thus perform your prescribed Vedic duties, since action is superior to inaction. By ceasing activity, even your bodily maintenance will not be possible. Work must be done as a yagna to the Bhagavan, otherwise, work causes bondage in this material world. Therefore, O son of Kunti, for the satisfaction of God, perform your prescribed duties without being attached to the results. In the beginning of creation, Brahma created humankind along with duties, and said, Prosper in the performance of these yagna for they shall bestow upon you all you wish to achieve. Devan bhava yatane na te deva bhava yantu vaha Parasparam bhava yanta shreya parama vapsyatha By your sacrifices, the celestial gods will be pleased, and by cooperation between humans and the celestial gods, great prosperity will reign for all. Ishtan bhogan hi bho deva dasyante yagna bhavita ha the celestial gods, being satisfied by the performance of sacrifice, will grant you all the desired necessities of life. 
But those who enjoy what is given to them, without making offerings in return, are verily thieves. Yadna Shishta Shina Santo Mutchante Sarbakil Vishai Bhunjate Te Padham Papa Ye Pachandyat Magaranath the spiritually minded, who eat food that is first offered in sacrifice, are released from all kinds of sin. Others, who cook food for their own enjoyment, verily eat only sin. All living beings subsist on food and food is produced by rains. Rains come from the performance of sacrifice, and sacrifice is produced by the performance of prescribed duties. Karma Brahmodhavam Vidhi Brahmakshara Samudhavam Tasmat Sarvagatam Brahma Nityam Yagne Pratishthitam The duties for human beings are described in the Vedas, and the Vedas are manifested by God Himself. Therefore, the all-pervading Lord is eternally present in acts of sacrifice. O Panth, those who do not accept their responsibility in the cycle of sacrifice established by the Vedas are sinful. They live only for the delight of their senses, indeed their lives are in vain. But those who rejoice in the Self, who are illumined and fully satisfied in the self, for them there is no duty. Such self-realized souls have nothing to gain or lose either in discharging or renouncing their duties nor do they need to depend on other living beings to fulfill their self-interest. Therefore, giving up attachment, perform actions as a matter of duty because by working without being attached to the fruits, one attains the Supreme. By performing their prescribed duties, King Janak and others attained perfection. You should also perform your duties to set an example for the good of the world. Whatever actions great persons perform, common people follow. Whatever standards they set, all the world pursues. <laughs> There is no duty for me to do in all the three worlds, O Parth, nor do I have anything to gain or attain. Yet, I am engaged in prescribed duties. <laughs> For if I did not carefully perform the prescribed duties, O Path, all men would follow my path in all respects. If I cease to perform prescribed actions, all these worlds would perish. I would be responsible for the pandemonium that would prevail, 
and would thereby destroy the peace of the human race. As ignorant people perform their duties with attachment to the results, O Sion of Bharat, so should the wise act without attachment, for the sake of leading people on the right path. The wise should not create discord in the intellects of ignorant people who are attached to fruitive actions by inducing them to stop work. Rather, by performing their duties in an enlightened manner, they should inspire the ignorant also to do their prescribed duties. All activities are carried out by the three modes of material nature. But in ignorance, the soul, deluded by false identification with the body, thinks of itself as the doer. O mighty armed Arjuna, illumined persons distinguish the soul as distinct from gunas and karmas. They perceive that it is only the gunas that move among the gunas, and thus they do not get entangled in them. Those who are deluded by the operation of the gunas become attached to the results of their actions. But the wise who understand these truths should not unsettle such ignorant people who know very little. Performing all works as an offering unto me, constantly meditate on me as the Supreme. Become free from desire and selfishness, and with your mental grief departed, fight. Those who abide by these teachings of mine, with profound faith and free from envy, are released from the bondage of karma. But those who find faults with my teachings, being bereft of knowledge and devoid of discrimination, they disregard these principles and bring about their own ruin. Even wise people act according to their natures, for all living beings are propelled by their natural tendencies. What will one gain by repression? The senses naturally experience attachment and aversion to the sense objects. But do not be controlled by them, for they are veilers and foes. It is far better to perform one's natural prescribed duty, though tinged with faults, than to perform another's prescribed duty, though perfectly. In fact, it is preferable to die in the discharge of one's duty than to follow the path of another, which is fraught with danger. Arjuna Uvacha 
अथ केन प्रयुक्त पापम चरति पुष अनिच्छन्न बाष्णेय बलाधिप नियोजित अर्जुन आस्ट Why is a person impelled to commit sinful acts even unwillingly as if by force or descendant of Vrishni Shri Bhagavan uvacha Kama esha krodha esha rajo guna samuddhavah Mahashano mahapapma vidye nihavairinam The Bhagwan said it is lust alone which is born of contact with the mode of passion and later transformed into anger know this as the sinful all devouring enemy in the world dume na priyate varnir yatha dasho mane na cha yathol be na brito garbhas tatha dene dama brutam just as a fire is covered by smoke a mirror is masked by dust and an embryo is concealed by the womb Similarly one's knowledge gets shrouded by desire. Abhutam jnanam etena jnani no nitya vairina kama rupena kondeya dushpurena nalena cha The knowledge of even the most discerning gets covered by this perpetual enemy in the form of insatiable desire which is never satisfied and burns like fire O son of Kunti इंद्रियाणि मनो The senses, mind, and intellect are said to be breeding grounds of desire. Through them, it clouds one's knowledge and deludes the embodied soul. Therefore, O best of the Bharathas, in the very beginning bring the senses under control and slay this enemy called desire, which is the embodiment of sin and destroys knowledge and realization. Indriyani paranyahu indriye bhyah param manah The senses are superior to the gross body and superior to the senses is the mind. Beyond the mind is the intellect and even beyond the intellect is the soul. Evam buddhe param buddhva samsabhyatmanam atmana jahi shatrum mahabaho kama rupam durasadam Thus knowing the soul to be superior to the material intellect or mighty armed arjuna subdue the lower self by the higher self and kill this formidable enemy called lust